Oh no, why do I look so greasy? Oh no, I don't want to look greasy. Oh, that contour though. Got really itchy with <laughs> Hello honey buns, it's Demi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Or if you're just joining us now, welcome! Damn Daniel. Um, but today I wanted to do kind of like a fun type of video. Um, so for today's video, I'm gonna be telling you things that curvy girls are tired of hearing. So as a curvy girl and kind of embracing my curves or my fat <laughs> over the last few years, there's a few things that I've heard on repeat that I'm tired of hearing. It would be a fun video to do. I will link any similar videos I've done like this below if you want to see more videos like this and this is the type of video you like. It's a bit different, haven't done one of these style of videos in a while, but if you do like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up because it helps me out so much. Let's try and smash 3,000 thumbs up because that would help me out a lot. So let's just get in to the things that curvy girls are tired of hearing. One of the first things that I'm tired of hearing is a curvy art girl is you can't wear that. You shouldn't wear that. That doesn't suit your body type. I mean, first of all, honeys, if I can't go out in it, if I wasn't meant to wear this, then why is it made of my size? Second of all, I don't care if you don't think it flatters my figure. If I feel comfortable in it, if I feel confident in it, then I'm gonna bloody wear it. I mean, at the end of the day, I'm really sorry if you're uncomfortable seeing a curvy girl proper fill an outfit, but it's not your body. Look away. It's not your worry, hun. Absolutely hate it when people say, you shouldn't wear that. It doesn't flatter your body. And I know some people, like, I'm all up for an honest opinion. Give us that constru constructive criticism, you know? R bring it in. I'm not bothered. But I just feel like I'm told all of the time that I shouldn't wear the little kind of like bond, well, I don't know how to say that word, but the little boob tubey tops. And I'm obsessed with wearing them. When I go on holiday, I love wearing them with my shorts. I just love them. And I personally think they're really flatterers, but I've been told on so many occasions not to wear them tops. These are the ones that I'm on about on the screen now. And I love them. I think the flatterers, yes, I do have a big chest and it maybe does accentuate that a little bit more, but I love wearing them. So I'm going to bloody wear them. If I want to wear it, I'll wear it. I might regret it five years down the line and look back and think not your best choice, Demi. But in the meantime, just let us enjoy it, you know? This one is kind of along the lines of, of being told what to wear, but I'm absolutely sick and tired of being told that because I actually have a few extra rolls in my stomach that I shouldn't wear a crop top or a cropped hoodie. But I really like them, especially with high-waisted pairs of jeans and stuff. I think they're really nice, so why shouldn't I wear them? I mean, you might not want to see me extra rolls, I get that, but... It's one of them things, you're just going to have to look away because I really like them. I don't need none of you little judgmental huns coming on here being like, don't wear that because I want to wear it. Okay, another thing that comes up all of the time, being a plus size or curvy girl, is being told to lose weight. And I'm sick and tired of being told to lose weight. And I think the thing is, is being curvy doesn't instantly make you fat. So yeah, I do have like an extra bit of fat on us. However, I do have really big boobs. Well, I don't have a big bum, but I do have really big boobs. Even when I was really, really skinny, I had quite a big boob area. So I'm always gonna be more curvy. I'm never gonna be stick thin. So I don't really appreciate being told to lose weight when half the time I feel like it's like my boobs that make us look bigger than I actually am. But please stop telling us to lose weight. I'm probably trying to lose weight and even if I'm not then I'm happy so let me be okay so this one I've actually had more so since I've been putting myself online as like a curvy girl or a more average size girl and that is that I need a thigh gap I've been told on so many try on hauls that I really need to work on getting a thigh gap because it's not and my body's not flattering without a thigh gap uh, I'm probably never gonna have a thigh gap in my life let me tell you because they're really hard to get. 
Um, so yeah, I'm probably going to be a sufferer of chub rub all my full life, but let me tell you, if I could get a thigh gap, I probably would because I don't really like getting a rash between my legs. But there's a reason I don't have one. I struggle to get one because I like food too much. But anyway, moving on. Um, so yeah, it's not just easy for someone to get a thigh gap and it's a bit rude saying that to someone, so please don't tell me to get a thigh gap because I would have one if I could get one, let me tell you now. So another thing, obviously, I, I don't feel like this one is personally like said to me as much but it's definitely something that I obviously experience on a daily basis as to probably most people and that's the fact that if you don't look like a Victoria's Secret model or a model that's on the billboards you feel like you're not good enough or you feel inadequate when in reality like how many people in daily life actually look like that like yeah you'll get the odd stunner walking through town but in reality like if you're walking through town not a lot of people actually look like models or like what you see on social media or what you see advertised in magazines and I think it's just so upsetting because it's such an unrealistic goal for people like I did a full rant on Instagram about this the other day on one of my posts and it's just so unrealistic like I like mainstream media and social media literally get us to hate our bodies on a daily basis through promoting one body type and that is the perfect body type the flat stomach just the tiny bit of boob the big bum or they just promote this one body type which looks identical throughout and it gets us to hate our bodies because we feel we're not good enough because we don't look like that um, and I did a post about this on Instagram the other day where I kind of like reversed the photos where you know when like if someone loses weight they'll have like their skinny photo and then their like um larger photo and compare how much weight they've lost I reversed that and did like a photo of us when I was like really skinny as a size 8 and then a photo of us now as a size um like 14 16 and reversed it and had this full-on caption about how I felt it was so unfair for social media and mainstream media to advertise this one body type this one look that you've got to be like for you to be pretty um and yeah I, I did a full post about that if you want to see it, it's on my instagram but yeah i just got so fed up with it because i was just like it's so unrealistic for so many people like yeah so demi had a rant on instagram about this and still strongly believe it <laughs> okay so another comment that i get quite a lot as i have over the course of last year i did quite a lot of bikini hauls quite a lot of um swimwear type of hauls and i got commented so many times when you're over a size 14 you should stick to all in one swimsuits and i'm just like i'm sorry who wrote that rule where's that rule because no you don't if i want to wear a bikini i'm gonna wear a bikini you know I'm gonna wear one and you aren't gonna tell me that I'm not you're just gonna have to close your eyes if you don't want to see the extra rules hun but if I want to wear a bikini I'm gonna wear one okay oh yeah another term that I hate and I don't know if this is like this is probably just more of a personal one to me but like I hate being called thick like you know when people say like you've got a, like oh I've, I've seen it a few times in comments when people call you like thick like mean in your body and i'm just like like it might be just the term of slang from like where people are from and that but when i make when I, people have called us thick in comments in terms of like my body type i just think in my head like i'm not a bloody seven layer chocolate cake <laughs> like the word thick to me just i don't know i don't like it and i don't like it to describe my body so yeah don't call me thick please i don't want to be thick bodied so another thing that i am tired of tearing is this is more of a question I get, but people have often asked, Have you tried to exercise? Um, let me just think about that. No, never tried it. Nah, never bothered really. I just think it's so rude, like I would never go up to a really slim person and go, Have you tried to eat? I just wouldn't say it. So why would you say to a bigger person, Have you tried to exercise? You just wouldn't say it. It's just rude. So um, yeah, don't ask me for try exercise, please. Thank you. Another thing I'm tired of hearing is fat. We'll talk about the obvious, you know. I don't go up to random people in the street and say skinny. Please don't call me fat because one, I already know that I could do with using a few pounds, but even still, 
Do I look bothered? Does the face look bothered? Oh, yeah. I disrespect you, mate. No, no, no. <laughs> but wait. Come on. Like well, it's, it's, like him, it's just like that's like not. Like you call him. Well, I'm bothered. Like him, mate. I am bothered. And the last one, but the least fun that I'm going to talk about in this video, is the quote: "Imagine how good you'd look if you are thin." So you're telling me that because I have a few extra rules that I can't look good? That I don't look pretty? I'm sorry, but since when did a few extra rules on your stomach and around your chin make you, make you fat? Make you, make you unpretty? Make you not pretty? Anyway, this was just a little fun video. I'm really, I'm really, really sorry for the level of sarcasm in this video. I kind of went a bit sarcastic because I find if I feel some of the things people say I just I just don't get and I do become very sarcastic about it all but yeah this was just a fun video that I wanted to do because I've actually been writing these down from comments things that people have said to us and all that type of thing over the last few months and I thought I'm gonna compile it into a video and tell you things that curvy girls or fat girls are sick of hearing so yeah this was my little fun video I don't know if anybody found this entertaining, but if you did, you know what to do. Smash a big thumbs up if you like it. And yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. And I will see you very shortly for another video. Have a lovely weekend, honey buns, because this is actually going to go up on a Friday. So yeah, have a great weekend. I'll see you very shortly. Bye!